Hello, this is Kevin here for Ad Ronin, and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to target business owners on Facebook and Instagram. All right, let's get into it. Now, right off the bat, what you're going to need to do is go to facebook.business.com. This is the Facebook Business Manager, and actually, we're one level deeper. We're in the Ads Manager. Ads Manager is awesome because it lets you use all of Facebook's tracking capabilities and targeting capabilities. So anyways, once we are here, you're going to start off by hitting this big green create button to get into the ad. At the campaign level, uh, what we do is basically we name our ad according to what we want the function to be. We pick the objective of the ad at this level. So right off the top, the company that we are advertising for here is Jig Jag Printing. They make a ton of customizable promotional products for any business. If you are looking for that kind of stuff, absolutely visit jigjagprinting.com. Uh, that description, or that will be down in the description below, wherever that is. Uh, anyways, we're naming it according to the campaign, and then clicks to site, that's our objective. And finally, business owners in Canada, that is who we are targeting with this campaign. So to set this up, basically we went down here, campaign details, we chose auction, and then campaign objective, we chose traffic. Traffic is a consideration event, so they basically will know who you are and we're trying to send them to the website to make a purchase. Uh, to go down a little bit further, we are not using an A-B test for this and we are not using campaign budget optimization because we are only going to be running one ad set here. Now, at the ad set level of this campaign, we already have the objective, right? We're sending people to the website. Now that we're at the ad set level, what we have to do is tell Facebook and Instagram who it is we want to see this ad. So, you know, before is our why we're doing it. And now it's who, who is it that we want to see this? Uh, so you see right off the top, the traffic, we want it sent to our website. Uh, scrolling right down, we selected a budget of $20 per day. That's completely up to you, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Facebook is run off of data and the way that you purchase that data is with your daily budget. So the more you spend, the faster you learn stuff. Also the faster you make money. Uh, going right down here, we picked a start date of uh, today. That's when I made this ad. Going down, now we are at our targeting. Uh, because we're looking for business owners in Canada, obviously the first thing we're going to do if we check the locations level is we select Canada. I want to show you this thing real quick. What we need to is people living in this location because you know in 2021 it's going to be hard for jig jag to get this stuff over the border so we're doing people that live in canada and as we scroll down a little bit more we are filling in the rest of the information here so you see we named it 24 to 65 plus in our age we selected 24 to 65 plus uh, gender we selected all Basically, we just want this ad to be in front of business owners. The language that we use is directed at business owners as opposed to men or women. There's no difference in that. Um, now the targeting. This is really, really what it comes down to, the interest-based targeting or the detailed targeting. We want business owners, right? So uh, if you see here, we picked behavior, small business owner. That means you're actually showing up doing it here. Demographic work job titles. Job titles is very strong and behavior is very strong. I don't want to use interests here, but basically all you have to do to find business owners is right off the top, I typed in business owner, but I spelt it correctly, uh, business owner. After we do that, if you give it a few minutes, Facebook is just gonna load up some suggestions for you. Now I've already gone through this and picked all of the job title ones, but essentially once you pick the first job title one, we can even do this orthodontist one, after you have it, then the next level is you just hit suggestions and it's going to give you more and more business owners. Um, you know, I guess business owner or orthodontist, they still own a business, they could still want that. So that works fine. Uh, 
this actual audience of just business owners and senior management in Canada, uh, I got it to about 500,000 people. For, for me, when I'm targeting, I like generally an audience of about 100,000 to start. Anything over half a million, I feel like is too big. Anything you know below 50,000, I feel like is too small because you want to give yourself a good chance to actually get in front of these people. So the way that I took it from 500,000 people to 50 to 60,000 people is I added an, another level of targeting. So for this targeting, all of the people need to be one of these things at the top level. So all of their business manager stuff, they need to be one of those. And then here it says, and must also match. What I did is I added in here business page admins. So this means like not only have they said their job title on Facebook is a, is a business owner, but also they own a Facebook business page and they are an admin of. To me, I feel like that makes it much stronger uh, because almost no matter who you are, if you own a business, you are also the the super admin of your business admin page, even though other people may use it for you. So by doing that, we got our 57 to 60,000 people, which I believe is about accurate. Canada has 35 million, so that seems right-ish to me. Um, going right down, we get to our placements. Now for placements, I chose automatic placements because business owners are more expensive than other audiences. You know, obviously a lot of businesses are, are B2B businesses. So targeting business owners is one of the more expensive uh, audiences. So we switched this to automatic placements so that it gives us, I think it's 17 total places. We could see it, timelines, stories, uh, associated websites. Uh, now scrolling down here, you'll see optimization for ad delivery. What we did here is its default setting is link clicks. Now link clicks actually just means somebody that clicked on your ad, right? Like that could be uh, when it shows up on your timeline, you may click it to expand the text. You may click that ad so that you can hear uh, the volume of what it's saying. So rather than people who will just click buttons or click your ad, we want people uh, that will actually wait for your landing page to load and actually visit your website. So that's a that's a big tip there where we don't care how many people click it. We care how many people actually visit the website so they can purchase from JigJag. Uh, so we have everything done there. Uh, we're going to click publish here. Okay, and now we are at our ad level. So this is the content that you are putting in front of the people that you are targeting that you want to send to your website. So here again, we just name it according to what it is, clicks to site, video promotion. Uh, really, it's just something that you will be able to recognize and and understand. If you're running 20, 30 different ads, your naming becomes very important because you wanna make sure you can actually uh, you know save time and do work more effectively. Uh, going right down, we do not have JigJag in our business manager, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I've assigned it to our Ad Ronin page. I've also assigned the Ad Ronin Instagram account. Scrolling right down, uh, in terms of content, I've selected single image or video because we have made a 20 second video for JigDag that they can use in their ads. Um, we uploaded that, that has all of the correct placements here. Uh, JigJ bought this ad from us at AdRonin. So essentially what we do here is we just go to the ad copy that we wrote for them. We highlight everything. And you'll see here, primary text. And we go here, primary text, paste. You know, here it's this is just where your where you make your case. When somebody sees a, a digital marketing ad on Facebook or Instagram, right off the bat, what they're going to see is your video. The video is going to get their attention. After they see your video and you have their attention, they're going to read your headline. So that's why having a strong headline is really important. Um, so we gave JigJag four different versions of headlines that we think will convert for them. So I'm just going to bring this right down. We'll do 
that. And going right down here, we have our description text. This is just another, another thing that people will read uh, because the description comes underneath. Hopefully we'll see it right here. And we should see that in one second after this updates. Uh, moving right along, what we see here is destination. The point of this ad is we want to send them to our website. Oh, sorry, there's our description text. Um, so we want to send people to our website, and that's why we will add in the website right here. This is our website, adronin.com backslash shop, in case you're looking for a video with ad copy and you want to take it easy for the day and put our $35 million worth of lead generation uh, success to work for you. We've made it really cost effective. But anyways, you can check that out on your own. Uh, scrolling right down, the last step we have here is we want to make sure that we are using the website events and we want the tracking pixel involved. This lets this basically completes the loop for Facebook. It lets Facebook know who clicked the ad and then who went to the ad, what they did when they're there. Did they make a purchase? Like that's why we need all of this information. Uh, and then once everything is in, we do a once over one more time just to make sure everything is in. And we click publish. And just like that, in about 15 to 20 minutes, you can put your ad in front of up to 60,000 business owners in Canada. Uh, I believe if you were to do that in the States, you know, you're looking at about 600,000 business owners. Uh, this is one of the most sought over markets, but you know, Facebook gives you those targeting options. Uh, if you have any questions about how to target business owners on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, uh, let me know down below or if you just have any questions about how you can use digital marketing to basically set your company ahead you know get yourself a little bit more free time and, and start generating sales while you sleep just let me know by hit me up in the comments down below at ronin.com backslash shop forward slash shop <laughs>